Got to talk about frequency and period. They're related, but they're not the same thing. Period. Period is the time it takes to complete one full cycle. Like uh, the period of the Earth's orbit about the sun is 365 days. The period of, our, of the Earth's rotation is 24 hours, all right? Um, typical pay period is two weeks, so it's a time for one cycle to complete. So the period is given by capital T, because the period is a special time, and the units aren't any units of uh, time. It can be like seconds, or minutes, or hours, or days, or years, any kind of time. And remember, what it does say is it's really it's the seconds per cycle, or the minutes per cycle, because you're measuring the time for one cycle. You don't really have to include it, because you said it's the period. Now the frequency, given by a little f, the frequency is the inverse of the period. Now for these units, instead of seconds, I'm going to say seconds per cycle. You know it's kind of redundant, but it helps in this way. Because one, now I've got seconds per cycle down here, so I flip them over, right, it's one over the period. That's going to be one cycle per second, the inverse. And a cycle per second is also known as a hertz, which is one hertz, which is named after Heinrich Hertz. All right. So if something's repeating one cycle per second, your heart rate's about uh, 60 beats per minute, a little more maybe, but it's about a cycle per second, a beat per second. That would be one hertz. So your heart beats usually a little over a hertz, more or less. All right. Your pay period is two weeks. Your frequency of getting paid is once every two weeks. It's the inverse. Now there's another way of measuring frequency. Frequency can also be measured as a number of samples over a certain amount of time. You know, it's, it's hard to measure your heartbeat for each beat. So what you do is you get a bunch of samples and you see how long they all took. So uh, n is equal to number of cycles, t is equal to elapsed time. So let's do a couple of examples. We've got these two equations. We've got frequency as the inverse of the period, and that's also the number of cycles divided by the time it took to, to accomplish all those cycles. So, for example, I've got a, I've got some repetitive line. Could be an ocean wave moving this way. And the time between peaks, the waves coming at me, and the time it takes for one peak to hit and then another peak to hit, or the time for one cycle, is uh, six seconds. And I want to know, what's the frequency? Let's make it five seconds. So I don't know where my calculator is. Five seconds. What's the frequency? The frequency is one over the period, which is one over five seconds. Now, I don't have to say this, but it's easier for working the units. The period is five seconds. That means it's five seconds per cycle. So I'm going to add that. I know it's kind of redundant. One of the period which is one over five seconds per cycle. And that's going to be 0 0.2 cycles per second, the inverse, because it's flipped over. And that's 0 0.20 hertz, a fifth of a hertz. Let's try one. Let's try one using the second equation. I'm going to get rid of this now. Let's say uh, I don't know what the period is because these things are coming at me so fast. But what I can do is I can count them and I can see how long it took. 
These are much shorter waves, and so it's easier just to get a bunch of them. So I, I count 40 waves, 40 peaks, 40 cycles coming through. And that 40 cycles, it happens, I have my stopwatch, it happens in eight seconds. And I want to know, well, what's the frequency? Frequency is the number of cycles divided by the time it took for all those cycles to come through, which is 40 cycles in 8 seconds, which is 5 cycles per second, which is 5 hertz. Now, if I did this, I got the 5 hertz, I could tell you what the, what the average period is for each, for each wave, too. Now that I've counted it in a way that I can do it, it would have been really hard. Five cycles per second would be hard to measure. You know, each cycle, that took a fifth of a second, hard to get. But now that I've got this average, I've got five hertz, I could get the period, say A. What's the period of this? The period is one over the frequency, which is one over five hertz, or five cycles per second which is 0 0.2, I'm sorry, they're the same numbers as the last example, only reversed, two seconds per cycle, or just 0 0.2 seconds, a fifth of a second. That's how you measure things with shorter periods. You get a bunch of averages. Now, another way to measure frequency and period is with an oscilloscope. So let's check that out, too.